shade, man. Great bass guitar, isn't it? When we do sound, we're gonna do a lot of music stuff. Low frequency bass. We're gonna do a lot of that. It'll be fun. Anyway, that is um, from, um, what's the tie-in? Well, <clears throat> that's a, the theme song, the instrumental theme song to a show that was on in the late 50s, early 60s that I'm too young to remember. Uh, I saw the reruns for it. It was on for about three years. I'm guessing 58 to 61, 62. And um, it was called Peter Gunn. He played a private eye. It was good. It was good. It was very, very black and white and very, very, very low budget. Um, you ever see a, a bl old black and white? It looks like it was shot through a tub of Vaseline. It just looks old and not very well done. But anyway, it was, it was fun. Early television. But um, that, what's the tie-in? Windmills. When, we, when you think of a windmill, you think of Holland, tulips, a windmill. Windmills actually originated, our understanding of windmills, it is alleged, came from the Middle East. And they were brought here, they were brought to Western Europe by the Crusaders. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's one of the theories anyway. Uh, that... That song, that instrumental with the bass, that was, took me some time to find this. That was Hank the Knife and the Jets. Hank the Knife and the Jets. That's a Dutch rock and roll group. Netherlands, Dutch rock and roll group. They're sitting on a motorcycle. Uh, they look older than me. Hank the Knife and the Jets. Uh, kind of funny. Anyway, windmills in Holland, when we think of windmills, uh, we think of Holland. Our, our understanding of windmills really come from the Dutch. We have wind farms all over the world, in the United States, uh, in California, uh, off the coast of... Uh, the Netherlands, in the North Sea, all over the place. And it is an amazing alternative energy source because it, the wind is, in certain areas of the world, is always windy. So the Dutch became very competitive on a world stage by, in, the, in the 17th and 18th century, 1600s, 1700s. They became very very um, competitive. Uh, New York City was, was, was founded by the Swedes, but the Dutch, the Dutch really, really made it into a city. And then the, it was then turned over to the British, but I believe that's correct. But, um, so the Dutch were sort of a world power and the windmill helped to make them that because you need money to be a world power. And they had a lot of agriculture. They harvested land. They harvested land. And the land was harvested by the windmill pumps the water off the land. They put up protective dikes. You'll remember Hurricane Katrina, the protective dikes around uh, certain areas of New Orleans and other points around southern Louisiana failed and that led in the floodwaters. So it's a kind of a small example of what Holland, Holland's an entire country that much of it, not all of it, but much of it is uh, reclaimed from the sea. 
They call it, uh, they call Belgium and Holland the low countries. They're the low countries. They border on the North Sea. If you like to walk on the boardwalk of Spring Lake, Belmar in the winter, multiply that by 100, and that's what it's like on the North Sea. I've been to the North Sea. It's very, very windy, very windy. And the North Sea is northeast Britain, Scot Scotland, east of Scotland, north of Britain, between uh, Scandinavia and Germany, west of Denmark, that area, that's called the North Sea. Look at it on a map, and it's very, very windy there. And there's always wind. So the Dutch used it for agriculture, grinding corn. Um, corn's a bad, bad idea, but they do do it for, for the grinding that. But grinding grains, uh, corn, yes, but corn didn't originate in Holland. But it was for grains, grinding grains, making flour, for instance, from wheat. And the windmills were sometimes enormous. These sails, this, this was 12 feet long, 12 feet wide. So the radius is 6 feet on this particular windmill. And the, the sail, the radius, is going to be six, 6 meters, 6 feet, did I say 6 feet, 6 meters. That's, that's big, that's over 30, 30 feet. Um, and then you had this radius too. So the whole thing was 12 meters diameter, so six meters. And the, the axle was, the radius of the axle is 0.5 meters about like this. That's the radius, like this. So it turns around. Big, big axle. And if you know anything about cars and how cars work, you have axles all over the place. You have axles and gears. And you have universals and front axle and rear axle. And then you have an axle that goes from the front to the back, etc. And so this is the problem. I want to know four things. I want to know the, the ideal mechanical advantage of this machine. It's a machine. I want to know the, the actual mechanical advantage, the AMA. I want to know the frictional force that, why isn't it 100% efficient? What's the, What's the friction there? The efficiency, I want to know. Okay, so this is what I have. I have sails, six meter radius, six meter radius. The, the, the output force is going to be 90 newtons. That's what I'm actually going to do to grind. Grind, 90 newtons, okay? The input force on the sails, the input force on the sails is only going to be 15 newtons. So it's pretty good, 15 newtons. It's not bad. Not bad. I'm 1,000 newtons. So 15 newtons is, it's like three pounds. It's nothing. Okay. So, so the output force is 90. The radius of the sail is 6 meters. The input force is 15 newtons. The axle is, the radius of the axle is 0.5 meters. I want to know IMA, AMA efficiency, and the force of friction. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and see how you do. Let's do this a little bit, of, little bit at a time. The first thing I want you to do is, I want you to do the AMA, and then we'll come back, okay? And let's listen to Hank, the knife, and the jets. Peter Gunn. 